Jeffree Star is definitely one of a kind and someone who loves being the center of attention whether you like him or not. Jeffree has been an icon in many ways, always unapologetically being the extra glam over the top person that he is. In my opinion, Jeffree Star's house is exactly what I thought it would be. His mansion is nothing short of a pink, fabulous Barbie dream and completely reflects his personality. I would absolutely love living in a place like this. Hey guys, it's Kara and we've been trying something a little different here on this channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at Jeffree Star's mansion and give you all the details on his house tour. Hopefully Jeffrey watches this vid and maybe next time I'll get to go over and tour this amazing house in person, but for now it's just us. If you like this idea, I can make more house tour videos like this. We also did one on Bella Thorne's Crazy Pad, the Trippy Twins Fun House, and we'll have the link at the end of this video. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below. We also recently hit 50k subs, we're halfway to 100k so subscribe if you're new. Okay now let's get into this video. According to the house tour that Jeffrey gave Shane Dawson recently, he claims that he has like three houses. So the one that I know of and that he's been more open to show off is the one we'll be talking about today. Jeffrey's house is located on Cordova Drive in Calabasas, California and covers 7,100 square feet. According to Zillow.com, the house was purchased in 2016 for around 3.6 million, not too shabby. The value has likely increased by at least a million by now and the estimated monthly mortgage payments on this spot will be almost 14,000 a month. It's a gated and private estate which would make sense considering how famous Jeffrey is. The lot is approximately 28,000 square feet and includes a four car garage, full views of the mountains and valleys and more. Inside you'll find nine bedrooms and eight bathrooms which when Jeffrey would have purchased the house also included a home theater. When the house was up for sale a couple of years ago it looked a lot different than it does today. Now you'd know right off the bat that it's Jeffrey's house considering all of the pink interior. Mirrors, wall upholstery, paint, you name it. It's all right there when you walk into the foyer. The pink interior continues over to the next room where Jeffrey has what looks like a mini arcade. There are a ton of pinball machines in this room and Jeffrey has said that these are only part of him and his boyfriend's collection. Apparently they have a warehouse with over a hundred of them and in the house they only keep the newest ones that they're into playing at the moment. In the same room there's also a fish tank which you guessed it is pink. Jeffrey calls it the Barbie fish tank because of this and says that they got one because his boyfriend Nate used to work at a pet store once upon a time. Moving into the big kitchen, although the ceiling is brick, there's still some pink thanks to the chandelier. Jeffrey has said that he doesn't cook though and that Nate is the one who does all of it. Being a YouTuber of course, Jeffrey has a room where he films his videos. It's full of makeup, a lot of which is from his own cosmetic line. Makes sense considering he does a ton of makeup tutorials on his channel. One of the bedrooms upstairs Jeffrey calls the red room, which is obviously all red. The closet in this room is where Jeffrey stuffs all his old clothes that he wears once for like a video or something and doesn't touch again. Or as he likes to say, where the Gucci goes to die. In Jeffrey's actual bedroom, it's back to the all pink thing, which Jeffrey calls the Barbie wing. Yes, his bedroom is technically its own wing of the mansion. Love it. He even has his own pink room for a toilet and a bidet. Jeffrey's bed is basically a giant fancy pink Barbie bed, just like everything else in his room. At the time when Jeffrey showed Shane his home, his giant luxury closet was still under construction. His closet at the time was still extremely impressive and honestly like its own store. Jeffrey guessed that if he was to combine all the jewelry, purses, clothes and stuff in this room, it would probably be worth about 6 to 7 million. More recently though, on his own channel, Jeffrey gave a personal tour of his finished closet, which also doubles as a panic room. Him and Nate still use the old closet, which he calls the bedroom closet, but now Jeffrey has his dream closet as well. To get into the pink vault closet, you need to have your retina scanned and Jeffrey's fingerprint, so I don't think it would ever be possible to rob it. Not to mention it's covered in thick steel and there's an armed guard just chilling inside at all times. Once you're inside, it's nothing short of epic and fabulous. The whole closet is decked out in complete Jeffrey fashion, including his Jeffrey Star logo on the custom floor. The pink vault is full of designer shoes, including a crazy amount of red bottoms and even a special wall just for his Louis Vuitton bags. Jeffrey says his fave part of the vault is his Birkin bags. You can tell how impressive his collection is by just looking at it. And in case you didn't know, the prices of these Birkin bags range from like 11 or 12 grand up to 300,000 bucks. So yeah. 
Anyways, there is way too much in his new closet to go over in detail, so if you want to see it all, you'll just have to watch his video. Outside, Jeffrey has a giant backyard and property that's super private. I didn't see Jeffrey's pool on the house tour video, but the listing from before he bought the house showed a pretty fancy one in the photos. It actually looks like it's straight out of a fairy tale, so I wonder if that's how Jeffrey has kept it. Let's not forget the four car garage. Jeffrey is clearly getting used out of it considering the cars that he has and he's also said that he's a car junkie. Last year Jeffrey shared his custom pink Rolls Royce Wraith and even in this video you can see some of his other rides on the driveway. In another vid from last year we can see more of Jeffrey's cars. This is also when Jeffrey showed off the new Lamborghini Euros SUV he got to customize. Another new addition to his car collection. Jeffrey's car collection also includes a hot pink Tesla X, a Barbie pink BMW i8, and I'm sure there's more. Oh, and he has a private jet too, but I don't think he keeps that at the house. After looking at Jeffrey's house, I definitely feel like it's a place he created to be everything he's ever wanted. From the pink interior to the amount of space dedicated to fashion and all of his fancy cars. It's super fancy, just like Jeffrey, and it's enough to make anyone watching feel like a peasant. But my favorite part is definitely his closet. I don't think I've seen anything quite like that. It's basically like a designer museum. If you're thinking about visiting or stalking the star, I also don't think that would be the best idea. Jeffrey has said that he has three armed guards at his place all the time, as well as a hundred security cameras. So good luck getting past all of that. Jeffrey said in his pink vault closet tour video that this particular house is the first house he bought and his favorite. He also thinks he'll stay there forever, so I doubt his Barbie dream house will go back on the market anytime soon. Alright guys, that's everything I could find on Jeffrey's mansion. I look forward to reading what you guys think about his over the top Barbie dream house. What was your favorite part? Let me know some other celebrity house tour ideas and I'll see you next week with some brand new videos. Bye!